The Chicago Bears have occupied the bottom of the NFC North for several years now, but this week the Lions are facing a different Bears team, a team that leads the NFC North at 5-3. and three. These Bears have won their last two games in a row against the Bills and the Jets, and last week against Buffalo, their defense scored 14 points. That defense is currently fifth in the league, and it's possible they get linebacker Khalil Mack back this week. Obviously, they do an outstanding job of, uh, you know, attacking and uh, getting the ball out, whether it's in the run game or in the passing game. Uh, they've created a lot of turnovers. They put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They put a lot of pressure on the uh, ball carriers, which is, um, you know, they're doing a good job of. we got to be real conscious of uh, ball security. You know, it's a big thing for us right now is to make sure that, um, you know, the ball is protected. Whoever has the ball, it's the most important thing on the field, and we've got to have that uh, through the course of the play. On offense, Mitchell Trubisky has proved to be a reliable quarterback for them, and that duo of Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard at running back have led them to over 120 rushing yards in six of their eight games this year. New Bears head coach Matt Nagy used to be the offensive coordinator for the Chiefs. Lions players talked this week about the offensive threats that Chicago brings and compared it to that dominating Chiefs offense. When you think about, um, you know, Kansas City, you know, Chicago is kind of, they've kind of built their team to be, Skill set wise, you know, same thing. You know, they have a uh, Tariq Cohen, you know, that does a lot of the things that a Tyreek Hill does. Um, you know, they have Trey Burton at the tight end. He does a lot of things like Travis Kelsey. Obviously, Jordan Howard does a lot of things like Kareem Hunt. Jordan Howard, big, powerful guy, downhill type of back, but has enough speed. Um, Keeps the keeps the ball rolling for him, um, and obviously Tariq is uh, very dynamic, very explosive. Um, you know, do it all. He runs between the tackles. He runs outside. Um, he runs routes, catches passes, um, screens. They, they get him involved a, a lot of different ways. Very different players, but dynamic and explosive in their own ways. So, you know, we definitely have to be aware of which, uh, what each guy likes to do and uh, when they're in the game. The Lions will actually face the Bears twice in 12 days as they see them again on November 22nd for that Thanksgiving Day game. From Xfinity Studio, I'm Tori Petrie.